is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're continuing. Actually, this is our day two coverage from the Cannes Film Festival. So we're really excited about this and to be able to share it with you. Well, because like you were telling people that depending upon what time you see this and what time zone you're in, they could have ran the opening ceremonies at Cannes already, even mm -hmm. though this is Tuesday, our time. Oh, that's true. And of course, I do have on my special bikini that I got just for the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, it'd be nice if, you know, we get to see part of it. You see part of it? Yes, yeah, I am wearing it. Does it to, look like I'm... <laughs> get to see part of it because we're, you know, because we aren't really at Cannes. See that back there? Mm -hmm. The thing that says Cannes right behind us, that doesn't exist. Well, it's the beauty of blue screen and green screen. Oh, yeah, and then... Down there, we have computers that we're reading off of. Oh, well, do you think that we memorized all of this? No, not what's coming up. But it's like our, our little telephone. Okay, but here's the thing today. Would you, okay, yeah, I already know the answer this. Would you rather be in cons where the weather is in the low 60s and 20 mile an hour winds or sitting here in Los Angeles on the beach with the 70 mile an hour no winds? Well. Yeah, you know, you want to be in cons with the 63. What kind thing. of question is that? Yeah, because cons is a, as they say, it, 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 people don't, okay. But here's the two sets of people at cons. The people that go there for networking, which we have found out, and the people that go there to party. The problem is there's more party people than there are <laughs> networking people. And when the party people go, that's when the business actually starts. So mm -hmm. there are sometimes, like, you, if you go early, you're going to the parties. If you go late, you're going for business. Ah. So, isn't that something? Is that how it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, she's got all kinds of useful information that she's got. That oh. I, I never know about this stuff because it's, it's basically, I, I don't, I'm not invited to parties in, in, in our country. So. I, know, I know, we were just laughing. Um, one of the things that we're doing is we're, we're coordinating information with other people we know that are at the Cannes Film Festival. And so by doing that, of course, we hear about things that are going on and we get to utilize it in our coverage, but you know, they're all, all eternally grateful because they may not necessarily know about that information. So one of the things that's going on is L'Oreal is celebrating 15 years at the Cannes Film Festival. Oh, anybody here? You know, her evil twin sister, the BC, was actually a, you know, featured in a L'Oreal print campaign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, a little tip that you didn't know. And the great part about um, L'Oreal as they're doing their very first nail bar at the Cannes Film Festival. Now here's part of it is, is their very first nail bar. I thought they already had a nail bar, but I, I keep thinking about what L'Oreal... Well, maybe it's their first nail bar. No, I keep thinking about what L'Oreal has done at different they places. They do a hair bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they'll give you, you know, some samples and stuff, but they usually don't actually do the manicures. So what they're doing right there is they're giving them red carpet ready or red carpet worthy manicures okay at their pop-up store on may 16th through the 27th and this is at their pop-up location at the foyer of the rich french riviera hotel the martinez and they'll be able to pick from the latest summer shades or opt for some on-trend nail art yeah, you know, nail art yeah nail art but it pop up seems to be the the end thing in the industry i know the they're going to do a pop-up store here yeah mm -hmm. Pop-up nail bars, pop-up hair bars, pop-up hair bar, cosmetic bars, pop-up gift suites. Well, you know, and I'll tell you at events, you really appreciate it because when you're going to and from places, I know the parties, and Harvey Weinstein's always been really great about this, is at the party they do have like a, a sponsor from a skincare makeup company that will do touch-ups for you, which is great because you're doing pictures all day and you don't always look in the mirror and see, make sure you're not reflecting. I'm on their press desk and I never get invited to their parties. Well. <laughs> <laughs> is it because I'm old? Because you're on the press list. I'm old. <laughs> no, press aren't invited. <laughs> she gets to go, Because you're on the press list. That's now, here's a cute one. Do you want to invite an old person or somebody that looks like she does in a swimsuit? Mm -hmm. Because she also wears gowns that are really nice and neat too. Which we, we did have a whole design event of for cons, which we actually bring out one of these days. Yeah, so some of the parties that are attending are, that are some of the familiar places that you expect, which is like Harvey Weinstein, um, because they do a lot of different movies. Um, who else? Gucci. Let's see, I'm sure CAA is doing Vanity Fair and a whole host Grey of companies. Goose. And a lot of Grey later Goose. companies are. I can mm -hmm. tell you Stella Atois is there. Mm -hmm. They're giving away, I don't know, actually I 
Well, actually, it's behind the curtain. It's behind um. the curtain. What is behind? No, there. This is a sign that says "Cottage Behind." It. It's it's, no curtain. And it's not a wine glass. It's a. It's a. It's, it's actually it's a beer glass. <laughs> because so the Artois is beer, yeah. but they give you a Chablis. A Chablis. A Chablis. Yeah, a Chablis. but mostly you get beer in it. So they do. Okay, here's the thing: is they do. The uh, InBev is a large company. InBev does more than than Anheuser Busch or Stella Artois. They do lots of wine, so. And this is France. I don't think you're going to really get beer in France. And the other thing that they can expect, of course, are movie premieres. So maybe some world movie premieres. Um, I know Snow White and the Huntsman just premiered earlier in London, yeah, actually on the 14th. And so they'll be having a major presence over there. Yeah, because they're going to jet from one side over to the other side and into the United States. Mm -hmm. But um, here's the thing about Cannes. There is two coveted spots in the Cannes Film Festival. Both of them you do not want to be in if you actually want awards. One is their first movie and one is the tail end movie. And guess what happens with two of the American movies that are going to be in Cannes? There's the first, the front, opening and, night and, and the closing night. Yeah, they've already made up their, they're already made up their minds by the last time the mo last film was in competition. Well, they're, you know, they're like the most prestigious spots, but the likelihood of winning, there which is, is actually no, more they, prestigious. They said the likelihood of winning, you, you have a better chance of, uh, what, what I like this, one guy said, you have a better chance of, of getting Pippa Middleton, a new shots with Pippa Middleton in them, than you do of winning. And they said, yeah, but that's a very good thing, yeah, that not anymore since she got in trouble, so. But the, the like, like Americans really don't give a darn. Like we're talking about, they don't care about the artists. They don't care about these other movies because they only care about movies that are in English. Uh. So therefore, uh, British films are popular in the United States. American films are popular because we don't we don't parle français. We don't come Italian. We don't speak uh -huh. You know, you know, we don't speak. We don't do those. Some people do. Actually, I don't. But. Um, but the first movie, like I said, is um, actually I have to, I, you know I I step into my picture so that we can read this. Thing. Oh, no, actually because what I'm doing I'm stepping into my logo. But no, Moonrise Sonata is the new uh, Moon, Moonrise Kingdom is the uh, new movie directed by two-time Academy Award nominated filmmaker Wes Anderson, the Royal Tannenbaums, the Fantastic Mr. Fox, and Rushmore. He's he's a, he's a big writer, folks. Mm. But uh, set on an island off the coast of New England in the summer of 1965, it tells a story of two 12-year-olds who fall in love and make a secret pact. Anybody, shall we say, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, set <laughs> in the uh, set to a comedy. Well, they don't die in the end, I don't think. Yeah, but then you have actors like Bill Murray and Francis McDormand. Matthew and McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Tilda Swinton. Yeah, Bruce Willis. Oh yes, Bruce Willis is a big name. Matthew McConaughey is a big deal because how many films is he in in cons? Three. That's a lot. Three. They said that he's he is basically. They said, why all of a sudden has he decided to become an actor after spending twenty years not knowing what he was? Okay, he he Matthew McConaughey has basically been a hunk for a long time. I mean, he's basically you know he's. He built up his muscles. He's got really no body definition below the waistline, but up above, he's like Carrot Top. But they said that they're trying to figure out... And I've seen Carrot Top. Yeah. Why the man at, at his age, and they said one reason why, because he's a father now, folks. Mm -hmm. he, he's got to get to work. He has to actually start taking it serious because the problem with being a, being a hunk is that you get replaced by the younger guys coming up. That too. So if you don't, it's just a... I mean, I remember a long time ago, I worked, uh, I did some work with, on WKRP in Cincinnati, had Lonnie Anderson. Lonnie Anderson started out as a weather girl. She was in um, A Fiddler on the Roof, well, she had dark hair and blonde hair, and basically she would lecture the younger women, you know, that, you know, this got me there, but if Talis does anything, it's going to keep me there, and that's the whole trick. McConaughey has to start showing. It's just like um, uh, people... Actually, I remember I was I worked on a movie with John Wayne, with um, uh, that, that what's his name, um, John Ford said, "My God, I didn't even know I could act." Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's when John Wayne, John Wayne, when he wanted to be serious, could be very serious. But he was a hunk until he became 
a really serious father had a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. And basically you couldn't stay the hunk because John Wayne actually liked to eat. Mm -hmm. So, and, and McConaughey, I gotta figure, he doesn't want to stay in shape. Most of the people do not want to stay in shape. It's why it, Connery, can, John Connery got to work today if he wanted to get into shape, but he won't do it. But um, And it's just not men that are like that, too. Women have been like that. Yeah, but um, basically, it, it's, 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 it is Romeo and Juliet made into a funny form with a lot of comedy. And basically, it's, uh, it basically, it causes an awakening in the community that in this case is probably a good thing because it's New England, it's dead. What goes on in New England? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I got my, my, my mom's from, my grandmother's from New England, folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk about uh, my, my grandmother, here, here's a comment from my grandmother on a film that I worked in. God, you know, it's amazing how they, they got that, how they optically took the swimsuits off of all of those girls. <laughs> and my grandmother came here as a, she came uh -huh. here with, with Thomas Alva Edison when he brought his studios from from, oh, really? from New York to California, and, and her mind she could not grasp. New, New England folks, they are basically they do. Once you're from New England, you do not leave New England. But, uh, but yeah, so and you know, and the wife is only proximity. Yeah, but this is a movie that's got once again, it's got a lot of buzz. It really has to be good according to these people to get the number one slot. I mean, it really has to be good. Mm -hmm. But the problem is. By the time it gets to the voting, nobody they forget will, about it. What happens is they bring in the heavy duty dramas after this, mm -hmm. and all they care about. Okay, the best. Okay, the films in the American middle, which are condemning the United States, and this, you know, we, actually it's got Zac Efron in it. And who would think that Zac Efron would be in a movie that has a chance to win the Palme d'Or? Oh, that's kind of unusual. I mean, uh, they, this one is. I mean, it's interesting. We haven't seen Bill Murray in anything in a while. Yeah. So, well, actually, he does have a. Somewhat new young wife. Yeah, he's been busy. Yeah. Now, with Bill Murray basically, okay, uh, figured this way everybody but Ed Norton and Matthew McConaughey are playing themselves. Oh, really? Ed okay. Norton basically is being, he's, he's being serious, which Ed Norton does. McConaughey is being serious. This is a comedy, but you, it's, um, they, as I understand, they're doing it from the melodramatic side, not the straight slapstick, mm -hmm. which the other people are doing. I think, I, I think. I think it, okay, it's funny the point that I think they had Bruce Willis put hair on again, so. But, um, you know, <laughs> that's, you know, we, we really can't do much more on the review of, of The Kingdom until it's actually played, then we can tell you how it played. But this mm -hmm. is sort of a synopsis, and then tomorrow we'll bring you more information because by the time that we're, by the time you see us next one, the film festival will be in full blow and we'll be able to tell you what's going on mm -hmm. day, you know, from what happened up to that point in the day. So I guess until then, this is Old Cam. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information? You can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or www.mbnnewsvideoweb, which dot com. Dot now has a chat thing on it. So if you want I to know. ask, you can basically... We're going to be on right after that. You won't actually know it, but as soon as we push the button and finish this, we're going to be on the chat side to tell people what we just done. Yes, it's exciting. There's a lot of stuff that's happening and changing. So anyway, um, so come and watch daily. Subscribe to us as we continue to have more coverage from the Cannes Film Festival in addition to our other news.